Peace. This is Boss from Wadsworth Media. Back at y'all for another round. And fight fans, Terrence Crawford makes headlines yet again as he took to the Joe Rogan show and dropped the bomb that he is willing to move up not one, not two, but three weight classes to fight the winner of Canelo versus Charlo in their super fight in September. So I feel that you know, this is a major fight uh, box office wise. It has major box office appeal because these are two big names. Uh, however, you know, if you've been following my page that's been up for about, for about a year and a half, if you've been following my page, you know I'm not a big proponent of people moving up multiple weight classes, you know, um, because we have weight classes for a reason, as I stated in my previous video. We have weight classes for a reason, you know, it, it's how people fill in, how their body fills in after camp, how much muscle they're able to retain, how much mass they're able to retain, therefore how much power they have, and you don't want people to go into a fight with a power disadvantage, you know, so you, that's why weight class is important because it levels the playing field a whole lot more, but you know, when you have a guy like Terrence Crawford with that with that skill and most importantly with that IQ, he has a 50-50 chance against anybody bigger than him. You know, because of the IQ. The IQ would make up for the power. You know, the IQ and the skill, the ability to switch it, all of that is what he brings to the to the table brings to the fight that gives him a very good chance. I won't say a puncher's chance because he would be the smaller man, but I'll say it gives him a boxer's chance. He has a really good chance of winning this fight uh, despite the weight the weight difference. However, it'll be up to the winner of Canelo Charlo to actually want to take this fight. Because one thing we know for sure, there's three people in boxing today that if they say your name and they say they want to fight with you, they're not going to back out. They're not going to choose another fighter. They're not. When they say your name, they want to fight with you. And those three people that we know that the receipts are there are Terrence Crawford, Jamel Charlo, and Devin Haney. You know, Devin Haney has been calling out Lomachenko, he's been calling out everybody. He's the one with all four belts, yet nobody is stepping up to the table to fight him, as much as he's mentioning people's names. So, um, the Matrix, everybody was, you know, Lomachenko's unbeatable. He's been calling out Lomachenko since he was 19. Then you got um, Terrence Crawford, Terrence Crawford has been calling out Errol Spence since he first moved up to 147. From the moment he moved up to 147, even being the smaller fighter, he's been calling out Errol Spence since the moment he moved up. Errol Spence finally obliged, and the rest is history. And then you have Jamel Charlo, who, you know, after the Canelo Ryder fight said, you know what, man? I'll be, I'll be Canelo. I'll be Canelo, man. You know what? Undisputed versus undisputed. That could be a big thing in boxing. So he called out Canelo. He went on, on Instagram Live or whatever it was and said it. Canelo heard it. You know, met up with Al Heyman. Asked for the, for the Charlo fight against Jamel. And... Once Melly heard that, yeah, Canelo's on the table, he said, yo, where do I sign? So there, there's three people, those three folks right there, when they say somebody's name, they're going to follow through. So that's why I say Crawford stated their names in, in, on the Joe Rogan show. So it would definitely be up to either Canelo or Charlo to want to take the fight afterwards. So we'll continue to follow that. That's all I got for now. I'm Wise for Wise Words Media. Peace.